Hi there folks and welcome to the What Solutions to this week's The Daily Rigger, issue number 178. So in our sports story to start off, South Africa beat or rather gave a wee bit of a trouncing to England to win the Rugby World Cup. So there were a total of 44 points scored in the final and they were scored in the ratio of England to South Africa 3 to 8. So how many points did England score first of all? Well this is essentially sharing a ratio, sharing a a points total in the ratio of 3 to 8. So England have got 3 shares of the total and South Africa have got 8 shares of the total. So if England have 3 and South Africa have 8, then that means that there's 11 shares in total. So we can add these two ratio components together. So the 11 shares amounts to the total number of points, which is 44. So we can use this to work out the value of one share by dividing the 44 by 11. So one share is four points. Now, if England get three shares, that means they're going to get three times four points, which comes to 12 points. So South Africa get eight shares of the total points. So that's going to be eight times one share. So that's going to be four times eight, which is 32 points. So all that's left to right now is the final score. So of course, England 12, South Africa 32, and that's generally how they write a rugby score. So on to our second story, our health story. So um, peanut allergy therapy um, is a protection but not a cure. So this is with regular exposure to small amounts of the food. It can actually reduce um, allergy symptoms, but only if the patient stays on the, um, the treatment. So I can actually believe that actually one in 50 UK children has a peanut allergy. I can't believe it's that high. Um, but anyway, we have to say what this is as a percentage. So one in 50 is basically a fraction. And we can actually write an equivalent fraction over 100 because we can double 50 to get 100, which means that we double 1 to get 2. So 1 over 50 is 2 over 100, and 2 divided by 100 is 0 0.02, so that's it as a decimal, and we can make it a percentage by multiplying that figure by 100. So 2% of the UK children have a peanut allergy. So just watch out um, if anyone in your class is, because um, uh, it can have such some really serious consequences, folks. So on to our UK story, so we've got a wee pun here, Brexit meltdown, but that's because the commemorative um, 50 pence pieces with the date of the 31st of October stamped on them have to be melted down and they're going to save that metal for when they have a new Brexit date. So 50p coin is seven sides and we'd asked first of all what is the name of a seven sided polygon. So seven sided shape um, is a heptagon. So, part B, um, did you know that the UK used to have a three pence coin? And here's a wee picture of it here. Um, and that was until um, the decimal system came out in 1971. And the three pence coin had 12 sides. So, what's the name of a 12 sided polygon? Well, that's actually a dodecagon. So, I wonder if you managed to get that. Anyway, part C, in the old system of money, so from your Gran and Grandpa's day, um, they used to be 240 pence in every pound before they made it decimal and it was 100 pence in every pound. But anyway, how many of these three pence pieces um, used to make up an old pound? Well, basically we want to know how many times three pence goes into 240 pence, so it's going to be a divide, and that's going to come to 83 pence coins altogether. So in other words, a three pence or a thrupney or however it was pronounced, um, that used to be one eightieth of a pound. Okay, so into our final story. So um, Radio Heart Extra Xmas is going to be is launched um, today, and it's going to play Christmas songs twenty four seven all the way up until Christmas. So if it played All I Want for Christmas Is You continuously, how many times could the song be played in full on a single day? So we need to kind of convert these units so that they're all the same. Let's start with a week first of all. Let's start with a day, sorry, first of all. So, so there are 60 seconds in a minute. So this is basically one minute expressed in seconds. And there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if we multiply that 60 by 60, this is going to be the number of seconds in one hour. But of course, in a single day, there's 24 hours. So we can multiply that by 24, and that gives us 86,400 seconds in a day. So the song, All I Want for Christmas is You, is four minutes long. 
and each of these minutes has 60 seconds in it. So we can have 4 times 60, and then we've got this additional second as well. So all I want for Christmas um, is you, is 241 seconds long. And basically we want to know how many times does 240 go into 86,400. In other words, it's another divide. And if we do that, we get 358.506 dot dot dot. But that means 358 in a bit time, so almost 350, so just a wee bit over 358 and a half times. How many times could the song be played in full? Well, that's just going to be the 358. And if that's not enough times to make you sick of it, then I don't know what is. But anyway, folks, there we have it. Our what solutions to this week's Daily Rigger. Hope you enjoyed solving the problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition. We're going to be looking at more stories from the news of the week and the numbers behind them. In the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.